All right, so we'll come back again. Uh, we're gonna be doing the diffraction measurement of a CD or a DVD, depends on what you have. Hopefully you have both. Uh, so the kit doesn't come with a CD or DVD, so you have to find your own. Uh, now, the way you run this experiment is uh, you put the ruler, because the way it's gonna work is the laser is gonna shoot out and then it's going to hit the CD, in this case it's a DVD, and it's going to hit the face of the DVD, and then light is going to refract, diffract out, and we're going to be measuring the diffraction angle of the DVD, the grooves on the DVD. So to do this experiment, what we need to do is we need to set the DVD and the ruler in the right orientation. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to put the ruler on this slot right here. This is uh, slot F. So we'll put the DVD aside again. Put the, and then in this, uh, in this case, we're going to be having the metric one facing where the light will come from, which is right, uh, which is on the far side, the DVD side of the base plate. So again, we're going to be inserting. and slide it in, and slide to adjust. So in this case, you want to make sure uh, you don't block the beam from going through to the base plate, right? So you want to make sure you either rotate the laser holder, so to so you could rotate the angle somewhat, you could fine adjust it. So the light is just missing the edge of the ruler. So you could block it partially, but don't block them all, right? Because obviously, if you block it all, you won't be able to measure anything. And then what you do is uh, you take your DVD, slide it in. So there's a slot D. So the whole of the DVD goes into slot D right here, like that. And you want, you want the edge of the DVD to be inside there, so this is wrong. So what we'll do is we'll slide it out and make sure now the edge of the DVD gets loosely held right here. So the DVD is somewhat normal to, so right here. So this, the DVD is somewhat normal to the base plate. So that's what you want to see. So now what we'll do is uh, we need to sort of prop this up. And the easiest way to prop this up is uh, uh, you're going to be buying this book separately. Introduction to Modern Optics, written by Stephen Arnold and Kate, Kate Lynn. And we're going to be using your textbook as a prop and prop this up. Uh, so this turn out to be about the right height. So what you want to do is you could put the full box with a lid and you put the box on the book and you could put the base base plate above it. That way the C D just clears the bottom of the C D just clears on the on the tabletop here. So the edge of the C D is clear of that. And then what you observe is the light will shoot at the face of the DVD like so, and then there will be a diffraction pattern, uh, diffraction spot somewhere along this side of the ruler, uh, on this side of the ruler. And you're gonna be measuring the angle again by measuring this distance and this distance, right? And then you're gonna do some trigonometry to figure out the diffraction angle. And for, so this is a DVD, but for CD, it's the same idea. What you could do is you could unload the DVD by sliding it out, take it out, and then over here, here's a, uh, here's a CD. Again, you want to make sure the edge of the CD or DVD catches here, so the CD is whole normal. So you could sort of do this experiment without propping all this up, and you could just hold it in your hand and do it, and then figure out where the diffraction can go that way. But it's just a little bit easier if you have, uh, uh, if you don't have to fight the DVD, so or the CD loose hang on the on the edge. So that's that. So this is uh, the diffraction measurement, and then from this diffraction angle, you should be able to compute the pitch of 
the CD, uh, the groove on the CD and the DVD. All right, so, so we'll see you in the next experiment.